Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Kim. I have a design team project. I'm running behind uh, lately as always. This is the um, line dot arrow books and botanicals kit. I think is the name of it. I'm, uh, I'll link everything down below so you'll know for sure. But um, it's a soft cover journal. This is my de uh, team project for um, September. Like I said, running behind. But um, this is soft cover, like I said, and I've put fabric on both sides of a um, Amazon package. And it's two signatures. This is definitely a writing journal. Uh, it's got some elements and stuff in it, but it, it has lots of room for writing. And it's just backed with some um, little brown fabric with the polka dots. Um, I put some glossy accents on the butterflies and this little um, emblem. And this is just a little bow that I made out of um, ribbon that I had. Not sure if you can see those glossy accents, but they're on there. And then the um, tie is made from some of the fabric also. Okay, and then I did make some um, little uh, belly bands on both the back and the front. And I have um, some fabric that I put down with lace on top of it. This is a um, kind of greenish lace, which I'm not sure if it was dyed or not, but I, I thought it unique and it goes with this light green really well. And then I've got some buttons on both sides. So they're both identical front and back, the belly bands. And then this is a um, stacked, car, uh, stacked tag that I made. And then just a little altered um, paper clip that I added one of the little cute uh, flies on. Or beetle bug. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a little beetle bug. They're so cute. So tiny. And this. And then you can still um, write on the back of them. And these are sewn. And let's try to stack them to where you can see all the little elements that I've put on each um, tag. And that just slips right in there. And then um, there's some little charms. And a bow right here. This little mushroom I love. And then a little, um, it's like a little oak leaf. This kit's really, really pretty. I love the way it turned out. Coffee stained paper with some, um, um, I'm just going blank this afternoon. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Seems like I stay tired all the time now since so working. But also um, stitched on these. And some more little um, tags. And it just has the date on it. And then here's another little tag. It's got one of the, I think this was one of the freebies she had. And then the, um, just added some of the beautiful butterflies. Look at this. I love that. And just added some more of the little stamps and added some ribbon, fabric ribbon. And that just sits there. And it has another little butterfly. More of that beautiful paper. And this is Dark Meadow. I thought this was perfect card. Uh, this is one of the paint samples that I got, I believe, at Walmart. So I thought this went really well with um, the papers. And this is a ATC card I made. I'm sorry, with stamping on it. And it's got handmade just for you by, and there's not a name, but I like that stamp. So more stitching. Just beautiful pages, and you can add so much still to it. And here's another little tag and another um, artist trading card. This has little uh, ephemera pieces, little tickets um, that just sits right in this pocket. And I'll put a um, butterfly and then another butterfly. I made a little pocket out of that. And just more fabric on the tag. Pretty, pretty. More tags. 
that you can write on. They're backed with, um, I think I did manila folder on these and then tied, used some of the yarn I had to make little um, tag ties. This is just um, a sticker. I had several stickers that I used throughout. And here is a pocket that doesn't have a tag. So let's put this tag in there. There we go. And I may have had that in there and just moved it when I was going through it. Another tag. And this was just a little piece of um, paper I had gotten. I'm not sure, it may have been like a little memo pad. I'm not sure where I got this, but I thought it went well with the kit. So I put that in there. Just a little extra spot, more of the coffee stain paper. So pretty. This is an ultra paper clip and I just have two tags. And that's what it looks like. It just slips on there. Or you could even slip it that way. I love the um, stitching that I made with this. I don't think I've used this in a while. And then this is a card that I had that I went thought that I thought went so well with this kit. That's just a little paper clip that I put some fabric on. This is come from a page that I had um, out of a book. And this is just your little card, but I thought that bird was so cute. And then just another tag that I have. And then I just slip this over um, the page and then you can put that like that and put the clip to hold it all together and in place and that's what that looks like look at the little bug and here's an envelope that we made and it was for one of the challenges for September and I love the way this turned out it's real cute and then this you can just open up and it has more little bits of ephemera and that just tucks right in there and I added a little um um, yarn bow and then stamped it with a stamp. I had a date stamp. More tags and some tickets. And you can always use a little, do a little journaling in there and it kind of hides it. These are backed with some of the journaling paper and then just some manila folders. And then I put a little button there. Like I said, lots of um, journaling space. Another little tag, and this is another altered uh, paper clip. And it just goes right there and holds that tag in place. Or you could put some of your, some other of your memorabilia. If you had tickets to a concert or tickets to a movie, just something you wanted to remember that special moment. You can always tuck those in. One of these journals also. And you could also put another little ephemera piece right there. Like I said, lots of journaling room um, and lots of places to add. I did, um, let's get this right here, see if you can see it. Added some little beads that I thought went okay with this journal, wooden beads, a little um, copper colored. This is kind of like a grayish. And then I love the little leaf. I only had one of those though. Beautiful papers. Another awesome kit by Natalie at Line Dot Arrow. Thank you for making such great kits, Natalie. Some more of that paper. More kit paper. Got a little carried away with my sewing. And then on the back, it has another, um, well, it's got that, like I told you, it's the same as the front. It has another little, um, this I uh, made, uh, lined the back of this with book page that I had. And then another tag with a little pocket holding some ephemera pieces. Another one of the beautiful butterflies and then some embroidery um, uh, 
thread that I had that I made a little bow with that that went well, I thought. And then that's the back. So, yep, this is the journal, and um, I had fun making it. Very pretty, and I love the greens for this time of year. Also, I will have everything linked down below and um, in the description box. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, um, have a good night or day whenever you're watching. Bye-bye.